You hardly have producers anymore. You have a man of a ready man. When it comes to music, it's not about how much numbers you get. Yo, yo, one of the Isia dance hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. One of the Takai Town in dance hall, Lincoln Terrage Records. Your entourage, the meeting of it from man, your rockedness. King of the dance hall, be the man, at a recent interview on stage with Winfred Williams, where he might talk about the decline of dancehall and how dancehall is declining. Popcorn on his Great Is E World Tour brought out Tony and Sing, and that one was very good. Bless up, bless up, and welcome back to Entourage Records. You are new via here, please consider subscribing. Turn on your post notification bell so whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. So the first thing you're going to highlight is Popcorn, who brought out his girlfriend, Tony and Singh, from this great is he tour, and they were very well received. Popcorn brought out Tony and Singh on Great Is He Tour Stop in Bristol. Tony and Singh is supporting Popcorn on the European trek of his Great Is He Tour. Popcorn kicked off his Great Is He Tour in Europe, and brought his girlfriend Tony and Singh along for the trek. The dancehall DJ is currently on the European leg of his Great Izzy World Tour, which will take him to major cities on the continent like Paris, London, and Madrid. On Wednesday, May 10th, Popcorn and his band passed through the O2 Academy in Bristol, where he performed for a local sold out crowd. Tony and Singh also made a surprise appearance performing their collab. Next to me, the music video for the single created a huge buzz when the pair dropped it almost six months ago. Since making her musical debut with the annual boss last November, the former beauty queen has been a fan favorite among annual fans, with some folks even telling Popcorn to put a ring on her finger. Tony and Singh looked stunning during her set, wearing a white outfit as she belted out her vocals. I personally believe Tony and Singh have talent and she's coming into her own and she'll get good grooming from Popcorn. Viewers and subscribers want to tell me what you think about her, her talent and also how she's um, progressing and things. Leave your thoughts in the comment section so we can talk about it. The next thing we'll talk about is King of Dancehall, being a man and him recently went on stage with Winfred Williams and he might talk up the things them saying. And he's talking about the decline of dancehall. And he's giving reasons to back up his claim. Veteran dancehall artist Biedemann. Him talk about the reason why he thinks that dancehall are declined. So dancehall DJ Biedemann suggests that dancehall entertainers should squash their beef. And jump on the same rhythm and unite for the betterment of dancehall. He must say that is what's supposed to happen in dancehall music at all times. Every artist is supposed to be friends because you cannot deal with social media and not socialize. Don't make no sense, you see me? So the matter is to socialize, it's talk to everyone, 
if you and a man have a beef musically, well, that's easier said than done. The veteran entertainer even points to his current cardinal relationship with his longtime bitter rival Bunty Killer. Because at that mute to do to Bunty, you know, heal him so them feel say, may I provoke him. You can't provoke a man if you are called to him. That no make no sense, you see me? Because me and him no enemy. We just have separate careers. Well, there's, you could look upon that two different ways still. Because we know, say, it was a bitter rivalry. So as much as oh, it might look like being a man want sugarcoat it now, we know, say, it never go like that. But being a man outlined another factor that he think is helping with dancers music decline. By stating, you remember when Dave Kelly put a rhythm out, you have all 15 and 20 artists on the rhythm. When Shaq and Vice put out a rhythm, when Pento put out a rhythm, that now go on again because every man have them own producer. And a producer now advise you if you and the next man them now talk. And that is what is killing Dancehall. Him have a very good point right there, sir. Because if my personal producer, I produce a track, it look like say, him now go bring in the next man them. And that definitely can kill off the whole vibration of Dancehall. Just to you, them have to them are just still, you know, think, think about the, the culture mm -hmm. and deal with the culture. It's that, that's only that they need to do, is it? Because, all right, you see, when it comes to music, it's not about how much numbers you get. Or it's not about how much views you can get. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's about how long the music going to last and how far you're going to carry the people. Yes. And, and that's it. You know, uh, that's all them have to do, you know. Think about the fans, think about the people they might listen to the music and everything will be all right. Yes. The problem then. You know? But first, you must... What, you, you hardly have producers anymore. You have a man of a rhythm and him send it to gear and him wait till you sing on it and send it back on gear and him release it. You hardly have no more DF Kelly in a day. You don't have no more Tony Kelly. You don't really? have no more... So is the problem is producers it. now? Yeah. Really and truly. Them not there again, yeah. I said, no, the producer just send that rhythm come here and say, he want a girl song because that they say him a go. Mm -hmm. But him not there for gear and free my mind which part, what kind of girl song he will sing. You can sing all different type of girl song. You can sing the free case song and it's a girl song. You but understand? some of the producers will say, them can't work with them young youth. Yeah. That, that's a film business. You have to work with young youth because youth yes. are youths and the youths are the future. And if you not teach them how to do it, it don't make no sense. Yeah, because in your day, if you are seeing rubbish, the man yeah, got tell me, say, no, no, that can't go. No, yeah, that can't go. It don't have a mix. Yes, if you are talking about kill man or something, no, you can't it's not a mix. It's not a mix. So that may I tell you. Yeah. So, so the so producer it, was always a leader, and you're saying that the, the new, the the new the breed of producer. the producers producer. aren't leading? You them just have make music. Yes. For the last 10, 15 years, like last 20 years, you have... Producer just doesn't make music. If you go by say a Tony Kelly right now, he can't tell you exactly where to go, what to do, when to do what, what not to do. Mm -hmm. See? And you he's open to young people coming to him? Of course. Because him, you have your lyrics, you know. But sometimes you put the wrong word at the wrong place. And he must say, you know, say if you move that and put it that's how it work. Mm -hmm. And when you take it and put it that's how it work. Because he have a years for hit songs. Yes. And when no he hear hit, him hear hit. Tony Kelly still produce Shaggy, him still produce Sean Paul, him still produce me. You understand? Produce a lot of artists. Because you like to work with a producer, we can send you in the right direction. Mm -hmm. That's it. Oh, yeah, right. The, the, the whole of the bad producer, them, them not live in Jamaica again. Dan Calione, him gone, him not live in Jamaica again. You have my boy, them, Russian. Mm -hmm. At the, those are the last producers, them. I tell you, I understood. Yeah, man, they actually produce, sit down and produce a song. They can write lyrics, give a look a punchline, give a look a verse, right? So send in the right direction. We have seen declining dancehall. And, you know, there's no denying it. There's no sugarcoating it. Because the denying, the declining of dancehall is real. Many people give different opinions on what caused decline in dancehall and right now be the man step up to the plate and him i give theme reasons and one of the point one of the pages what we need to take out of the hip hop arts them book it doesn't matter how we arrival we can always forward together and 
do a music together, fall together and do music, uh, do an album or whatever. It's all about business. Most dancehall artists doesn't do that. No, it might talk about the juggling. Well, enough people want the juggling for forward, but they might say, I want to produce, I make money off I juggling. But I think it's good for the business. You as our subscribers, tell me what I want to think about what being a man I say. Tell me what y'all like and tell me what I want to like. And so we can talk about it. We've come to the end of another video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Those who haven't done so as yet. Also, please turn on your post notification bell. So whenever I make a new upload, you can be the first to be notified. Peace out. Bless up. I'll definitely catch you in the next one.